Ah, thank you. Link account with PS Nestor with Arc. What was I saying? Uh, skip the linking. You can link at any time. Skip linking. I agree. Blah blah. In game HUD adjustment, adjust the size. Blah blah. blah all this junk. Can I just skip all this? It's ruining things. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Orange Knight 12, and today I'm going to be bringing you some gameplay of something cool. This is Neverwinter. In other words, it's basically the video game Dungeons and Dragons. And um, this game is free on the PS4, and I got it, and I decided that I should make a video on it. It's really cool. Now, before we get into this, I have to go ahead and add a bit of a warning. This game is rated T for too much for young audiences. If you're not 12 years old, you shouldn't be watching this, so viewer discretions are advised. But other than that, go on ahead and watch. Or don't. I don't care. Just get on. Let's just get on with the video. I'm being weird. <laughs> so, I need to create a new character in order to play. So, let's make a new character and get in the story. Ooh, workers. These are probably peasants. And that drifted out. Ooh, hot chick. She looks like a warrior princess of some sort, though. What is that? Castle? I think it's a castle. It's definitely a castle. What's that? There's something behind you. Why aren't you looking? Wait, what? Why was her skin peeling away? Oh look, it's a flaming dragon. Oh never mind, there's war. I told you this game was team rated. <laughs> but there was definitely a warning that needed to be placed for this, but I can't just not make a video on this game. It looks so cool. So of course I have to do that. Just look at this battle. What are they fighting? Skeletons? Shoot! Oh gosh! You still have a dragon flying around. Aren't you gonna take care of that? Why does that sword have an eyeball? Oh wait, no, now it's on fire. And that girl's just walking around with daggers. Wait, she can teleport? She's got a sword. She can teleport. And now there's a, like a leader or something. Okay, now you're fighting the dragon. You should have been doing that earlier. Nope. This person is teleporting a lot. Okay, this battle is insanity. It's just complete insanity. There's so much combat. Oh, wait. They saw that. And they have fists. They can tell you're teleporting now. Of course, that's what's happening. Wait, what? Did he try to take her soul or something? Or did he stab her or what? Either way, she's down. She's probably dead or something. And there's the bad guys. Oh, wait, what? Okay, that person used a spell. And there's the commander dude. He's got a battle axe. This is epic. This looks so epic. But when will I actually be able to play? The beast is still there. What is he doing? Is he trying to revive her? Pay attention! The enemy is right there! What are you doing? Oh, wait, what? Oh! Shoot! She went back to life and she stabbed her. And then he got hit by two weapons going right through her. Okay, just wow. End it. Die! Oh, what? We didn't get to see that. Oh, wait. She was a bad guy, I think. I believe. It turns out she was a bad guy. And they still have that dragon. More combat. 
but we don't get to see it. Okay, now we get to make a character. Select race. Human, half orc, wood elf, sun elf, dwarf, halfling, half elf, tiffling. Oh my bad, there's also the drill. I don't know what any of those are. There's also abilities, what? Defense. These are all using as girl characters. Change gender, please. Yeah, that's what I meant. Look at these. The sun elf actually looks kind of cool. Um, I don't know what to think about some of these characters. Um, I have to figure it out. Let's see. Um, all right. Defense is higher. Two gain ability score. You gain a heroic viewpoint. Additional ones at levels. Um, what is this? This guy means more like critical strikes and stuff. This person has like higher criticals and more wisdom and stuff. This guy is also nice. I'm not sure what to think about this overall. Um, all right, let's see. I don't know. Uh, let's go with a human because it kind of only makes sense. Class selection, then you can select the type of class you are in. Let's go to the highest one and then go down. Trickster Road, that's basically like dual swords, it looks like. This cleric, that's like um, a healer or a wizard. Control Wizard, a ranger. A warlock, a uh, paladin, that's like sword and shield. Great weapon fire, that's like climbers. Guardian fire, that's like the sword and shield. Um, guardian fire looks cool. Um, I think that I'll go with the guardian fire. It pr looks pretty much like what a normal character would look like. And then I get to choose the bonus. Strength, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. I'm gonna raise the intelligence stat because it kind of makes sense. Oh, I can re-roll stuff. Primary ability, constitution. Second one is strength and dexterity. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and increase my intelligence. And then these are like the appearance. Press priest. Select a priestess. Mm, um, so I have to choose a preset for the character. So basically, I have to choose the look that I like the best. Um, this character looks more like me. Oh, I can hide the armor. That was weird. <laughs> um, and then I get to customize the actual character. Wait, what? Facial hair? None. Alright, let's see. Hair. Um, shave thick. Yeah, that kind of makes sense for mine. Eyes. Blind, both. Let's see. I'm not blind. I'm not technically blind. I'm not technically blind. Um... I'm just gonna go with it though. Cause that seems to be the main one. Eyebrows, um I think this one makes more sense. Actually, I'll go with uh this. Facial hair? None. Tattoos? None. I don't want tattoos really. Scars, none. Facial scarring, head size. Well my head makes sense. Head height. Wait, it's not changing the height of the head at all. I'll just keep it at high. And then the head width there, head depth, neck length, um, eye size, eye height. So much stuff to change up. There's so much I could change so I can buy a shape. 
Um, toned, heavy, slim. I'm slim, definitely. By scaling. Um, then I get to choose the body stuff. I'm sorry, this is like so much. I can like change the width, definitely. I definitely don't have wide shoulders, as you can tell. Um, chest width. I have a wide chest, really. Um, waist, definitely low. Um, arms length. Uh, my arms are fine. They're not bulk, really, either. Um, other than that, everything else is fine, so... I'm basically done. D. Select the affliction. This selection is for flavor and has no effect on gameplay. Um, let me see. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think of any of these. I think I'll go with Corellian. I think it makes sense. Character origins. Oh, I get to choose the place I'm from. Um, let me just choose a place that I want. Water deep. Uh, never winter. That's where the most people come from. Um, let's see. Let's see. Is a prize blah blah. I think I'll go with Baldur's Gate. It seems pretty normal. And then the section. Um, let's see. Let's see, select the origin variant. Um. Let's see. I think I'll just go with Mount Refugee normally. And then I get to enter the name. So. Enter the name. So, yeah. I'll just enter my actual name. And, um. Let's see. Enter value Rene. I'll confirm. So that's me. Begin adventure. Alright, let's go, guys. Now we actually start off. Let's see. So much stuff. Lowy, never winter fields. I'm sorry if that took a while. This might be a bit of a long episode. Just because it is an RPG. And where am I? Is that through my eyes? I'm on the shores of something. Hey, are you alright? Right? Oh, never mind, they speak. Yeah, I'm fine. I think. Alright, let's see. Welcome to Nether Winter. Now grab a weapon and make yourself useful. Alright, let's see. Move around with the L stick. This looks so cool, guys. This is awesome. Uh, my health looks weird though. I guess I'll go to this person and Move speak to him. Alright, talk. Thank the gods. When I saw the Draculich attack the ship, I was afraid there would be no survivors. What brings you to Neverwinter in such troubled times? I'm not sure if any of you can hear this stuff, but yeah, let's see. Um, what brings me to Neverwinter in these times? Um... Well, it, it's not my home. Well, I guess it is, kind of. Welcome home. Well, Thank yeah. Not a very auspicious homecoming, is it? Oh, I speak. Neverwinter is under attack. The necromancer Valindra is assaulting the city with her undead legions. Search the wreckage along the shore for your gear. It's dangerous to go unarmed right now. When you finish, head up to the camp at the top of the hill. They've got a nice warm fire up there. You'll feel better once you've dried out. All right. Thanks, I will. This path leads to your next objective. The path can be toggled from the mission journal found in the main menu. 
So these sparkles are a path. Alright, let's see. So there's the wreckage. By centering your crosshair cursor over the desired object. All right, I guess I'll collect my stuff. Yes, the wreckage has seven. So. And left button to open your inventory. Wow, L1 L1 and left. All right. All right, let's see. Um, adventurer's reward equipped, equipped. Equipped. Alright then. Um Quest Tracker uh, displays current quest objectives. Alright. Um So I need to go to the camp next. Um Let's see, that's me. Oh, never mind. I kept moving in this direction. Let's see. So that's my info. Um, VIPs get daily rewards. Um, when you're high enough, you'll be able to learn to Volcarlion. There's an event. Uh, that's the map, I think. I think I have to go here, basically. And uh, that's the slots. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully there should be something up here, or this thing, which I'm sure is something. Out of combat players may heal. All right, so I can go here if I am not in combat. That's good. I think other people do explore in the game. But nothing's happened. All right, I've healed. All right, when you finish, it turn into a contact for credit rewards. So I have to talk to him. Yeah. It's complete. It's good to see someone right. survive the attack on the ship. When you feel ready, please speak to me again. I'm afraid I'll need your help. Alright. So I got through that. Let's Although get to his stuff. The, main force, the battle is far from over. The battlefield is crawling with mindless undead who lost their masters in the fighting. To make matters worse, the enemy is raising our dead to use against us. Acolyte Naaman is performing a ritual of Kellenborn. To lay the newly dead to rest, that is sure to draw an attack here. Oh, I must stay and make sure Naaman finishes her ritual. Could you search the battlefield for any wounded we missed and send them here? Okay, after you finish with the wounded, go to Del McCourt's camp and tell him our situation. All right, so I need to give first aid to the wounded soldiers on the battlefield. I get five XP and four copper if I complete it. So, yes, challenge accepted. Let's go this way. Clean, damaging all foes in front of you. So R2 is an attack. I guess I might have to fight people. Over objects and enemies to target them. What? That's a bad guy. Alright. Um. Alright, that's the attack, I guess. Ow, I took damage. Um. Give first aid. There you go. Fight me. I will hit you from out of nowhere. Oh, there's a dude. Hi. Um, let me help you. What are you doing? Are you doing anything? There's zombies around here. Okay, that person needs help. Let me help you. Let you die. Oh, I finished it. Um, I have to go back to the camp after this. I don't know how he didn't take damage. Alright, let's see. I need to go this way. Enemies here don't seem to target you until you attack. That's weird. You would think they would automatically go after you. I'll just fight people. Because it's fun. Alright. It is telling me stuff that people do. Even though I don't need to know it right now. 
Why you need to press L1 and X in order to do jumping? That's weird. Uh, but I made it to here. I'll talk we to you. Thank you for aiding the there you go. They wouldn't have survived much longer with all the undead broken about. Alright, mission is completed. Alright, broken I'm afraid I have a some task, but we're driven to Lindra's main army off. Our red wizard allies are still harassing us with summoned undead. Alright, I need to get arrows from the battlefield, basically. I won't pay attention to the story much, because it'll annoy the crap out of you. Alright. Oh, it still tells you if people are talking. Uh, I need to collect nine arrows. It looks good. Oh, that's a pretty cool ability. Um, I think these may be the arrows. I got three arrows. Who is that guy? I don't know. But it doesn't matter. I can one hit people. I'll one hit people with that ability. Fight me! This is so much fun. Alright, I got nine arrows, and I need to stow them in a barrel? Alright, so I need to go this way. And then I need to go ahead and put them in a barrel. It goes up this way, I think. That blue circle is where I need to do stuff. I discovered a camp point site. New respawn point unlocked. So these are respawn points. There we go. Um... Where do I put them? Oh, I put them here, I guess. There, they're put away. Now I need to talk to this guy. We must drive the wizards back. Thank you for the help. The red wizards I... haven't been driven away, but this will at least force them to keep their heads down. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I made it to level three. I didn't realize I'd been leveling up. Four That's undead cool. Are attacking Neverwinter. They're boiling out of Castle Never and storming the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. Alright, I need to attack the if undead soldiers and go to the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. I'll get a new sword, it looks like, if I can it. Please, go to the bridge and aid the defenders. Destroy the undead soldiers near the gate to our north so it may be open safely. Then talk to Private Wilfred. He will get you inside the city. Press square to charge at your enemy with a lunging strike. Oh, I can charge at my enemies. That's cool. Let's see if that works. These guys are level 3 though, so they'll probably target me. Whoa! I just did a double kill there. I need to wreck 6 people, it looks like. 6 enemies? Yeah, these guys, they'll charge you. Soink! Oh wait, no, I didn't get the kill. Oh, I'll tell you if your weapons, are, if your abilities are under recharge. Okay. I still need to kill more undead. Hey, you! Come over here and fight me! Yo, that was my kill! Stop! Oh, never mind. I got it. Okay. Ooh, there's something under there. I think I should go check it out. It goes under here. Does it go anywhere else? Ah, uh, it just rounds about. Rip. Okay, let's go this way. And talk to this guy. Hello again. You're looking a good deal fresher right. than when you washed up on the Oh, he was here. I told you drying out by the fire would do you good. My mother always says, warm clothes make for a warm heart. Alright. Let's get enough that we should be able to slip through the gate safely. I got a potion. Later gave me some healing potions for you. You may need them on the bridge. I don't have anything. I need to be a little fun. Alright, I need to travel to the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. Wait, no, that's here. My bad. Travel. Hello, Sleeping Travel. Dragon Bridge. I made it through the battlefield, and now I go in here. To the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. Oh, look. There seems to be combat. They're in trouble. We must go to their aid. Of course we must, obviously. What did you think was going to happen? Fight my way to the gatehouse. Again to stop. Ow, what the?
Okay, there's undead soldiers. Fight me, Archer. Fight me. You can't fight me. I'll wreck you. You can't wreck me. I'll make my way to that gatehouse. I'm taking flaming damage from this fire. Die! Wait, there was like loot. Okay, there's loot. I can pick up loot. That's cool. Die! I'm going to run this way. Oh, never mind. I'm not paying attention. You can't wreck me. I'm too powerful. Nuh uh. Nope. Well, this is getting interesting, guys. This is interesting. I'm fighting like a beast now. No one can defeat me. I have an awesome sword and awesome powers, too. That. Oh, shoot. It looks like a wizard of some kind. Nope. Die! Level four. Give me that loot. You gain the ability to ride mounts, so I can ride stuff. Okay, that's crazy. Yo. Rex, I think we made it. Oh shit, that's the bad guy. Okay, they got lifted away, that's bad. That leaves me to fight them. Oh, never mind, it leaves me to fight an ogre. Rip me. This is bad. Um. Get out of my way! Nuh uh. Fight me. Psych nah. Oh, shoot. This is getting crazy. Oh, never mind. I beat him. Well, I got loot. I identified loot. That's a barrel. I can't hit it. Rip me. Oh, never mind. They're over there, but they appear injured. I hope they aren't dead. Sorry. Should have been more cautious. But when I thought of all my friends who died because of her, find Sergeant Knox and tell him what happened. You have to stop her. Lord Never Ember is no saint, but he's better than the alternative. If Never Ember fails here, Valindra will rule Neverwinter. Find Sergeant Knox. He's one of Never Ember's guards. One of the good ones. You must stop. Valindra. Oh no, he died. Ah oh, crud, that's bad. Well guys, welcome to Nether Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter. Um, I think that'll be it for today's video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this gameplay. Um, 
let me know in the comments if you want to see more of Neverwinter. And until then, I'll see you all later. Bye!